This beautiful Bouvier is modeling a brindle coat. This is from I Am Special Bouviers. Brindles come in different shades and colors. This is a gray brindle. Sometimes people will register gray brindles or silver brindles. Sometimes people call them as um, just regular brindles. This is a black Bouvier. Now my George is looks like a black Bouvier, but deep down underneath, he has a little tiny pinstripe of brindle silvering. This is a fawn Bouvier. Fawns, a lot of people that don't know Bouviers very well call them blonde or yellows or whites. Whites, we'll find out, is a disqualifying color. This is salt and pepper, just like with people. It's black and silver mixed in together. This is a gray Bouvier, and some people call them silvers. AKC code 100 is gray. And this is an unusual color. It's called a saddle fawn. And I would register it as a fawn because saddle fawn is the genetic code descriptor. This is a white Bouvier, which registers as a fawn most of the time because you can't see when it's a puppy that it's going to turn out that light colored. But if you kind of have a feeling because of the parents that this is going to be a white Bouvier, you would register it as a 199 code. And white is a serious no-no, so you should not even be breeding parents that are white um, to create more white. There are three optional descriptors for markings that can happen on Bouviers. One of them is the black mask. And here are two examples, one on a fawn and one on a brindle Bouvier. The next one that we'll talk about is for white markings, and these can happen on the chin and the chest, and they're perfectly fine uh, within limits. Um, that would be for show confirmation, and that's merely cosmetic. But if there are in larger proportions or in different places, that's also okay if you're into herding, sporting, or things that don't deal with the external perfection of a bouvier. Now this last one is kind of interesting. You know that we have brindle color codes for coats, but we also have a special marking called a brindle marking. It's a visible stripe. A lot of times this happens right there in the back over the back leg. You could see kind of a dark uh, one outlined by two lighter ones here on this Bouvier. And then uh, in the next slide, it's a little more prominent when they're shaved down or have a, a closer cut. So that is a brindle marking, and that's just a bright stripe area. When you compare your puppy to one of the adult color code charts, you're not going to have a puppy that matches up very well because one of the things they say is never pick a Bouvier by its color. You, your puppy will change color throughout its lifetime. So an adult mature coat is going to be somewhat different from its puppy coat. These fawns here will lose a lot of that brown dusting that is designed to give them more of a camouflage and protection in the wild from predators. So that brown and black dusting, some of that caramel color that they have will all groom out as they grow. And they become a little bit lighter. A lot of times they lose their mask as they grow or it narrows. And then likewise, um, the brown highlights on a brindle puppy when it's a little puppy turns silver as it grows. And so brown rarely stays on a Bouvier. It is not a normal color for a Bouvier. So as you notice, um, the puppy coats are different than the adult coats, and that's something that uh, a trained breeder has seen dozens of puppies and can help you to understand what to expect of your Bouvier through the years and as it matures. The official AKC standard for the Bouvier de Flanders states that the color may range from fawn to black, passing through salt and pepper, gray and brindle. A small white star on the chest is allowed, other than chocolate brown, white, or party color, which are to be severely penalized, no one color is to be favored.